Hello everybody. Greetings once again from Chennai in India. Today I will briefly consider dysesthesia as a dermatological problem. All medical doctors will be familiar with terms such as anesthesia, hyperesthesia, hypoesthesia, paresthesia and so on. On the other hand, the term dysesthesia is difficult to comprehend. Webster's Dictionary simply defines it as discomfort. A popular neurology text defines it as any abnormal sensation described as unpleasant by the patient. So, dysesthesia could be a generic term for a cutaneous symptom, even pain, without exhibiting a primary cutaneous change and is often caused by nerve trauma, nerve impingement or nerve irritation. There are five clinical situations of dysesthesia which a dermatologist may encounter. Scalp dysesthesia, trigeminal trophic syndrome, neuralgia parasthetica, notalgia parasthetica and brachioradial pruritus. We will consider each one of them. Scalp dysesthesia are also called burning scalp syndrome. There is pruritus, burning or stinging sensation of the scalp in the absence of primary cutaneous disease of the scalp like psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, dandruff, lichen planus and so on. This sensation may be localized to some areas or it may be diffuse and uh, it should be distinguished from trichodynia which literally means painful hair. Now such symptoms may be noticed in three clinical settings. One, psychological background. Two, cervical spine disease. And three, side effects of cosmetic procedures, face lift and hair transplant. So a careful history and clinical examination for cervical spine disease, especially C5, C6, should be done before referring the patient for a psychiatrist opinion. Treatment is gabapentin, regabalin, doxepin, amitriptyline, and if there is itching on the scalp, topical steroids may help. The second condition is trigeminal trophic syndrome. It is usually the second branch of the trigeminal, that is the maxillary division, which is mostly affected in this syndrome. Clinically, it presents as an ulcer on the ala nasi on one side. The common cause of this syndrome is trigeminal nerve ablation for the troublesome intractable pain of trigeminal neuralgia. The presenting ulcer on the elanesi may itch, tickle, burn or crawl. Patients also have a tendency to pick these ulcers, thus enlarging it and giving it the, the term phantom of the opera look. The other causes of the syndrome are herpes zoster, Wallenberg syndrome which is a, a thrombosis of the inferior cerebellar artery, or the intracranial meningiomas, dissection of the vertebral artery and leprosy. Treatment. Patients should stop picking the ulcer, it is easier said than done. So they can be assisted by putting an occlusive dressing using a thermoplastic face mask. Orally, gabapentin, alprazolone, carbamazepine can be used. Topically, tacrolimus times sometimes helps. If the ulcer is non-healing, and uh, cosmetically un uh, unappealing, then a uh, skin graft can be done to close the ulcer. Third is Miralgia Parasthetica. This was described by Bernard in 1878 and Roth in 1895. Clinically, it presents as burning, lightning pain, deep muscle aches, tingling, anesthesia or hair loss. The site affected is the anterolateral aspect of the upper thigh. The symptoms improve with sitting but they get worse on standing. The predisposing factors are obesity, diabetes mellitus and pregnancy. The nerve involved is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. This is primarily a sensory nerve but also carries sympathetic fibers involved in piloerection and vasoconstriction. It originates from L23 lumbar segments. The most common part that the nerve takes is one centimeter medial to the anterior superior iliac spine at the level of the inguinal ligament. There are many causes for this nerve compression like uh, simple things like tight jeans, wearing tight fitting jeans, surgery, wearing holsters and so on. 
Palpating the area is also painful and uh, symptomatic. Always check the, the sugar, diabetes mellitus should be excluded. And the straight leg raising test, which we know will be positive in sciatica, but it is negative in myralgia parasite. Treatment, wearing loose fitting clothes, reducing the weight, control of diabetes. Topical capsaicin, lidocaine patches will be helpful. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Botox injection and very intractable cases, neurosurgical intervention. The fourth condition is notalgia parasthetica. Work was described by Astuard's Zurov. Clinically, it presents as pruritus, burning, tingling, numbness, or even pain, which occurs spontaneously between the scapula and the spine and the vertebral cord in the T2 to 6 region on one side. The affected area may show hyperpigmented patches and some of them also show amyloid deposition. Pathogenesis, the dorsal segment of T2 to T6 which supplies this area are prone for entrapment because of the right angle course that they take while passing through the spinal muscles. This is the view put forward. Organic pathology in T2 to T6 spine can also cause similar symptoms. Treatment, topical capsaicin, emla, tacrolimus for pigmentation. Secondly, systemic drugs like gabapentin, amitriptyline, etc. And thirdly, physical transcutaneous muscle stimulation. And Botox injection sometimes dramatically works. Final condition is brachioradial pruritus. This was first described by Wiesman in 1968. Clinically, pruritus, burning, or tingling sensation over the dorsolateral part of the arm, around the elbow particularly, but it can extend up to the shoulders and invariably exacerbated by sunlight. These symptoms occur in skin which looks absolutely normal. Common trigger is the sunlight. Applying cold often relieves the symptoms and this so-called ice pack sign is said to be pathognomonic of brachioradial pruritus. Etiology could be related to cervical spine disease at C5-6 level, conditions like disc prolapse, tumors, etc. And secondly, solar ultraviolet radiation. Treatment, topical steroids, doxepin, amitriptyline 1% cream is said to be very, very effective. Then sun protecting cream. Systemically, gabapentin, lamethrogen, valproate, carbamisetine are all drugs which are used by the neurologist sometimes give relief. And finally, surgical treatment. If an organic di disorder is present in the spine, it has to be tackled by either the orthopedic or the neurological surgeons. So, uh, having a knowledge of these conditions will help us not to immediately refer these patients for psychiatric opinion until we exclude these dysesthesia due to organic disease. Thank you.